Now, this podcast, what we're going to do in the beginning of each one, we're going to have a bottle of whiskey. We're going to have one glass um, for each podcast. And we're going to review at the end um, whether we like this one or not and then kind of the notes of it. So this one, we got the Woodenville uh, Bourbon Whiskey 90 Proof. Um, so this one is a well-known one in, in our area. So this is probably in every liquor store you could possibly go to. Too, but um, so we're gonna have this one today, um, and then this topic is just the intro for the episode. We're just gonna go over kind of what to expect, and we're also gonna talk about what we've seen happen during COVID from last year, and then what the market is now, specifically in Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls, and the surrounding areas, because um, it's it's a big 180 that's kind of happened in the last year. Um, so. I'll ask you first. So from 2019, let's say January, right? Mm -hmm. And um, what what was the uh, change in your business and what you saw in this area in terms of marketing and stuff like that from right before COVID happened and then right when COVID happened and probably peak in like July when everybody kind of just shut down? Uh, what was your experience on that one? Well, in my experience, everything got very, very, very quiet for a minute because everyone was scared to spend any money. Everyone was afraid that they would blow their budget and not be able to survive a pandemic we didn't know how long would last at all. Right. But then you saw people feeling the need to remind people they still existed to keep their content going. <laughs> right. And the larger companies... Was that hard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was kind of... Having to explain to your clients, <laughs> like, listen, we're in a pandemic, but... Right. Don't Every, stop. Everyone's, everyone's staring at their screens right now. You have a captive audience, literally government mandated captive audience. Uh, sell them. Right. <laughs> Remind them what you do. Make sure that when you reopen, you still exist and you're still on people in people's minds. Right. Exactly. Now, did you see any pushback with your clientele? If because I know what I did was right when the COVID happened, I didn't just like sit around like most marketing companies and hope and then hoping they don't get that e cancellation email mm -hmm. cut marketing from the budget which <laughs> yeah seems exactly to be the first thing to go yeah and so what i did was i just basically emailed all my clients i said hey um this is what's going on you're paying me this and maybe we can do bring your bring your business online whether that was a furniture store or whatever.